What's good, R&B squad? This is Heart of Ruth. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If you're new here, welcome. We don't believe that you're here by accident. We're happy to have you, and Jesus is, of course, always happier. Happy Father's Day to all of the dads under this ministry, and also, by extension, to all of the dads everywhere. I hope you guys had an amazing and blessed Father's Day. That being said, Guys, I did not plan on putting this word out, this particular word. I had a whole other word planned, but this one kept hitting me like a stack of bricks, okay? And here's the thing. It wasn't even a word until this evening, and I did not even realize that the Lord was dropping little tidbits for the past couple weeks in order for me to put this word together. It totally went over my head until this evening when he tied it all together, okay? Now, this word is going to tie in with the word that I put in the community post about the Rose of Jericho, okay? So if that word was for you, this word is going to be for you as well. Now, this song is called Desert Rose by an artist called Sting. And here's the thing. This song started playing while I was at the grocery store the other day. And then sometime before that, this video with this engagement ring popped up. And the song was playing in the background of the video, okay? And I've known about this song for quite some time. It's been around for years. I think it was released in the 90s, maybe the late 90s early 2000s, 2010, somewhere there. But nonetheless, I never knew that the lyrics were so beautiful. So I'm going to get into the lyrics. I'm going to read it for you guys. And I'm also going to put a link to the lyrics in the description box so that you guys can look at it for yourselves. Okay. So here are the lyrics. I dream of rain. I dream of gardens in the desert sand. I wake in vain. I dream of love as time runs through my hand. I dream of fire. These dreams that tie two hearts that will never die near the flames. The shadows play in the shape of the man's desire. And let me just pause right there. The way the Lord showed this to me, this is coming from a man to a woman. So this is coming from the male kingdom spouse's perspective. So... This could either be, if you're a woman listening to this, this is the way your kingdom spouse feels. Or if you're a man listening to this, this could be the way that you feel right now, okay? This desert rose whose shadow bears the secret promise. This desert flower, no sweet perfume ever tortured me more than this. And now she turns, this way she moves in the logic of all of my dreams. This fire burns, I realize that nothing's as it seems. I dream of rain, I dream of deserts in the desert sand, of gardens, sorry, in the desert sand. I wake in vain, I dream of love as time runs through my hand. So whoever this person is, they feel like time is running out on the dreams that they have for the two of you, okay? I dream of rain, I lift my gaze to empty skies above. So they're praying that they don't run out of time. I close my eyes. The rare perfume is the sweet intoxication of love. I dream of rain. I dream of gardens in the desert sand. I wake in vain. I dream of love as time runs through my hand. And then it just repeats. And that's the end of the song. Okay. So for whoever this is for. First of all, today while I was just going about my business, the Lord said to me, He is suffering. It feels like punishment. And when I asked the Lord to explain to me what that meant, he said that whoever is feeling like this, this person who's feeling like this, like described in this song, because this song is about love and love lost and about missing someone and longing to be with someone, okay? The Lord said to me that this guy, whoever this guy is, He feels like it's a punishment being away from you. So, sis, for whoever this is for, let this be a comfort to you. 
this person isn't staying away from you because they choose to. Whatever it is is keeping them away from you, trust me, if they could help it, they would get to you right now. This person, the way the Lord described it to me, this person is burning. The Lord used the words burning. And I'm not just talking about burning to be physically intimate with you. This person's soul is on fire for you. I don't know what your last interaction was like, but whatever you did or said in your last interaction with this person before the separation, it made them fall even more deeply in love with you than they were before. And having to part with you after that, having to part ways with you after that, even though it's temporary, because you guys are going to, you're going to reconcile. Even though it's temporary, it feels like torture, literally feels like torture to them. This is why there's that line in the song that was highlighted to me. No sweet perfume ever tortured me more than this. So this person feels it's literally like going through hell, being away from you. That is how this person feels. And this ties in with the word that I put out in the community post, as I said before, about the Rose of Jericho, okay? So for those of you that missed that word, let me just read a little bit of it for you guys. The Lord described your relationship with this person for whoever this word is for as the Rose of Jericho. Now, some background info on this plant. The Rose of Jericho is a desert plant that can easily bounce back to life with water and intentions. Emphasis on the word intentions. It is not an actual rose as we know them, but rather an evergreen plant that can go quickly from being dried up and nearly dead to vibrant and flourishing. It is also a very hard plant to destroy. It's difficult to kill it. And all it needs to be revived is a little bit of water, a little bit of tender loving care, a little bit of TLC, okay? And the Lord is saying to whoever this is for, for whoever this word is for, he has you guys covered in that department. He is going to be the living water that you guys need to revive your love. And it's not going to take much because you guys are really, really in love with each other. The way the Lord showed it to me, this man, sis, this man loves you. I mean, loves you, loves you, like with his soul, with his whole heart and soul. Okay? He feels like someone cut his arm off or cut his heart out because he's away from you. And if you're a man and you're listening to this, this is how you feel about your kingdom spouse. But the Lord is saying that you guys, your love can survive anything that is thrown at it to be described as or to be compared to the Rose of Jericho, literally the Desert Rose. That's the title of the song, okay? That is something else for the Lord himself to describe your love like that. When you guys come together, it is going to be powerful. That's all I have to say. I can't say anything else about this word. This was so sweet. God bless you, whoever this is for. I hope that this message blessed you. I hope it brought confirmation. I hope it brought comfort to your heart. And I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.